Hi guys, it's Macabussy here and welcome to what I am now calling Fan Made Mondays. I don't think I really need to explain that, do I? It's Monday. It's a fan made video. See any of you who's like, oh, when's the next fan made video coming? Monday. Fan Made Mondays. There's a clue in the title. Today's video is going to be the song Blooming. I have chosen the official music video. If I was supposed to choose the live video, I have not. I have chosen the official music video. You guys told me, always choose the live video. So I did, and then I did, Rennie, and you come in and went, you should have did the music video. And in my head, all that I thought was, you guys need to make up your fucking mind. So I'm doing the music video, and see if you don't like it. Tough. <laughs> I've had enough. Whole bunch of chord changes in that intro that I was not expecting. Then it came in with that kind of wee grungy type riff for the verse, and I was like, that's, that's, that's quite. It's quite nice. The actual guitar riff itself wouldn't be to a place on like in utero, for example. But then it started changing up like when it was getting played and getting quicker and quicker. And I was like, okay, that's not where I thought the song was going at all. So at this point, I've no off the idea what the fuck is happening, and I'm taking it back to the start. Mm. That's just cool. If you get your guitar right and you go like, I'm not in tune. That kind of noise alongside the drumming, doing it the same strumming pattern, you get like a really cool noise. A good example of that is Bulls on Parade, I think. I think it's Bulls on Parade by Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> No, 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 can we just take a little moment out to appreciate the really cool fucking drum and bass section that they've just went and threw in there as a little thing to join the two sections back together. That was cool as fuck. <laughs>
this might be the best example of band-made blending genres. Everybody keeps on talking about how they keep blending genres together and doing different stuff. And they do, but a lot of the times they kind of do it so that it's so seamless that it's kind of hard to pick apart the different styles and stuff. For me, like as somebody who's sitting here trying to like talk about the individual parts that make up the sum. But this one, actually kinda easy. The riff from the verse is very kinda 70s heavy metal, Black Sabbath type feel to it. The drums and stuff don't, but that's the thing. So it's like you've got modern day kind of pop punk drumming glared behind a 70s heavy metal riff. But then the vocals are like poppy emo almost. And then the chorus comes in and the chorus is straight up 2000s pop punk slash emo. Which again is a completely different mix. But then you go, right, okay, so you've got those different elements and they're all working together, but we want to put something to join that. And they've put in a little bit of drum and bass. Now you've got this weird gallop section that's just came in for the bridge. Fuck yous. That is an absolutely fucking exceptional bit of tapping. Yeah, I'm pausing it during the solo to talk about how good that fucking solo is. It is hands down, and I don't give a shit what you guys say, the best solo that they've got so far. It's just very, very melodic, very, very cool. It's got an excellent guitar tone because it's not live, the production value on it is better so I can hear it clearer and I can tell exactly what she's doing and holy fucking shit, that is technically marvellous. Pausing it again, don't even care. The multi-part harmonies going on there was kind of brilliant. It's something that's a that's, it's it's another thing that I have not really seen band made do before. I've seen them do harmonies and stuff, yeah, but I haven't seen them doing that with the vocal layering, where there's so much different stuff happening at the same time. Where else can I just slowly build it up? Yeah, they've kind of smashed that as well. It turns out they're also all, like, yeah, quite good vocalists. Um, <laughs> it's just... For you guys who are sitting there waiting on me finding a, band, a bad band-made song, it's not happened yet. Yeah, no, I kind of I love this one as well. <laughs>
Well, fuck me with a spoon. I've got nothing to say about that other than what I've already said. That was fantastic. Is it the best bandmade song? Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. It's up there. It's in the top five right now, I would say. I'm not even going to ask what you thought about the song because I know anybody who's watching this video already likes the song. This isn't one of those risky ones where I'm like, oh, do you guys like this? Y yeah, you do. You do. And if you don't, why are you here? This is my time to say. So I have now started planning out the channel properly this time. Rather than me just going in and doing reactions on a whim when I feel like I'm actually properly planning stuff out. And there is going to be a bandmate video every single Monday until I run out of bandmade songs. For November, I actually have the next four bandmade songs or five bandmade songs, however, however Mondays there is in November, I've got them mapped out already. So you guys don't need to come into the comments below and tell me which songs to do next. I've already got them planned out. All I need from you guys is, if you enjoyed the video, just put a nice wee comment below or or just leave a, or leave a like if you want to share it to people, share it to people, help me grow the channel. Listen, if you want to still give me options below and like, oh, you should do this song, fine, by all means, aye, but I'm going to ignore it because I've got the next four lined up. So, don't worry, bandmate is going nowhere and I will get to them all eventually. And don't ask for the Christmas ones. <laughs> do not do it. Listen guys, thank you very much for watching, I very much appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you for the next video.